Affliction card too, but his price tag is, I believe, guaranteed like a million for Affliction every fight. Wow. And wow. they said, well, we're not paying this dude a million. He just got knocked out twice in a row by Fedor and Mercer. What good is he? You know, and he's not a big, big enough name that people are going to buy pay per views because of him. You know, just well, I mean, him. for him, uh, I mean, the knockout by by Mercer was brutal. I mean, that happened Very brutal. in ten seconds or something like that. Yeah, something yeah. crazy like that, where you know, Tim Sylvia. I mean, the guys, the guys start losing. You know what I mean? Arlovski and Sylvia, Sylvia, and I think you know you can't demand that kind of money when you're losing fights. I mean, if you're Fedor and you're well, going they got out the contracts. Winning, they got the contracts fresh out of UFC, so they were smart. You know what I mean? Right. UFC was like, we're not going to pay you that much. And they said, but they will. And then UFC was like, well, go fight for them then. And UFC just has this dumb luck where when people betray, like, look at Matt Lindland. He he leaves UFC over a big dispute. He gets paid like half a million dollars to fight for affliction. And then Vitor Belfort damn near kills him with right. that one punch knockout. He was out for like 10 minutes cold. You know, it's, there's like a curse if you you don't get on their bad side. BJ Penn got on their bad side a couple years ago. He went over to fight Lyoto, lost. You know, I don't know. Hey, let's uh, let's jump gears here and uh, and run down the Bash pay per view. We've been on uh, UFC for a minute here, so let's uh, let's run down the Bash pay per view. We'll do some chat shout outs and uh, phone calls. We've got a uh, we've got a few here tonight. Um, a lot of our our normal listeners are not here due to it being a Wednesday, so we're probably going to run down the uh, the Bash card and uh, then we'll get on out of here. You know what? We have a uh, there is one caller from. Puerto Rico. Do you see that in the uh, in the chat room? Somebody has called in from Puerto Rico, so we may we may take that one because that's a uh, that's a long distance call. But let's uh, let's talk about the bash real quick. I'll uh, I'll list off the main event matches. We'll give a uh, a prediction, and uh, then we'll get out of here, buddy. All right, sounds good. All right, man. We uh, in our main event we have a uh, WWE title match, a three stages of hell match: Randy Orton versus Triple H. First of all, it's a regular match. Second fall is a false count anywhere match if needed, and the third fall is a stretcher match. Prediction on this one. Does Triple H walk out with the title or does Randy Orton retain? Of course Triple H walks out with the title. It's dumb obvious. Triple H leaves WWE champion. You know, and I and I I can't I just I think the title, the WWE title has been switched up so many times here in the uh in the past few months. And I think I think the smart move would be to keep the title on Randy Orton and have the face chase it. You know what I mean? At SummerSlam, the bigger pay-per-view, and, that and makes then, sense. And then do it yeah. again. So I'm, I, my prediction here, I, I know you said, of course, Triple H, but I'm I'm going to go Randy Orton, but uh, it wouldn't shock me to see Triple H, obviously. You know, it's Triple H. I mean, a lot of, a lot of backstage politics that go on here. And uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns and say Randy Orton walks out uh, WWE champion on uh, on Sunday. World title match: CM Punk against Jeff Hardy. Now, that's a big question mark because who the hell knows what's going on with Hardy? Yeah, I would. Uh, hmm. I would say Hardy gets the title gets the title back. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go CM Punk just because uh, I don't believe they're sure about Jeff Hardy's future. And uh, yeah, that, that's just, a question mark. Punk, Punk just cashed in, you know, last month at the uh, at the pay per view, and I think I think he's in for you know what for a little title reign. You know, is it, too late for me to, is, is it too late for me to switch? Of course not. I think they're gonna heal him. I think they're gonna finally turn him heel at the pay per view, and he's gonna retain by doing some kind of heel act. That's true. That's very possible. Uh, a, a heel turn. They've teased it in uh, in recent weeks here yeah. on uh, on SmackDown, so it's possible. But uh, either way, I, I think uh, CM Punk uh, retains here. Maybe maybe a run in of some sorts by somebody. Um, Edge. And, and I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe Edge or somebody like that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Edge. Does Edge even have a match at the pay per view? No, I'm looking at it right now, and I do not see Edge. Uh, Did on they the announce one on the SmackDown spoilers last night? Do we know? No, I've got the uh, I've got the updated card right here in uh, in the show file. So no Edge on this pay per view. That is weird. Probably at ringside. Maybe he'll be at ringside. Maybe on the announcers booth. Something. Something at the uh, at the pay per view involving Edge, and there's probably hmm. probably a, a good reason. Why he is uh, why he is not on the pay per view, and it probably has something to do with CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy. So, it's an interesting little tidbit as we uh, as we speak. Our ECW title match: Tommy Dreamer, Christian Finley, Jack Swagger, and Mark Henry. Tommy Dreamer and, just, and uh, Finley and Finley. Did I did I skip him? Yeah, you skipped him. Oh my bad. Um, I'm gonna. 
you know, they gave Tommy, Tommy signed a new deal with, uh, with WWE a couple weeks ago. They gave him the title of pay-per-view, and, uh, you know, ECW ratings haven't slipped or anything like that with him being champion, having gone up. I mean, they're not good to begin with that, what, a 1.0, 1.1 on a weekly yeah. basis. So, you know, I'm going to say Tommy Dreamer retains. Um, if not, you know, Finley has, has done some stuff in ECW in, in recent weeks, and I just I can't I can't see Finley as, as ECW champion. But ECW is used as as like a developmental, and then they went off they went off ECW last night. I mean, selling hard that could Mark Henry become ECW champion at at the pay per view this Sunday? Da 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 da. I just I think Tommy Dreamer retains here. Yeah, I I, I have no idea because I don't know this. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> I mean, I would say it's between Dream or Christian or Swagger, but why would they throw Henry and Finley in there? Um, yeah, I'll, Finley, say, I'll say I'll say Dreamer retains. Finley's had a more prominent role in uh, in recent weeks, which I don't know. You know, he cut a promo last night on ECW, which was not all that well done. But um, I don't know. I mean, like you said, Tommy Dreamer, Christian, or Swagger seem like the uh, the three possible ones, Mark Henry and Finley. Maybe there's a reason why Finley's been featured on... That's what uh, I'm ICW saying. Yeah. Week, so. I haven't and seen you know, the TV. I swear if I saw the TV, I would be able to predict it out. But without seeing it, I'll just, with a blind pick, I'll say Dreamer retain. Yeah, we'll say Tommy Dreamer. Unified tag team title match, Carlito and Primo versus The Legacy. We've all seen The Legacy is, is in... I mean, they've been pushed through the roof in uh, in recent recent months, and I think uh, I think this is the time to get some belts around them, but possibly not, because Ted DiBiase is going to be leaving here in a few months. Well, it's still a few months away, so they can put the straps on him for, uh, for at least a few weeks here, a few months um, before he leaves. To I'll finish. say this. If Legacy does win the titles, Orton will still have his, because the gimmick will be they got all the gold and blah, 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 their you know, legacy of wrestling. But, um... Christ, I could make an I could make an argument for everybody losing their title at the pay per view, which you know can't happen. Not not all of them, at least. So I'll say. Well, it happened. It happened not too long ago. At the that's uh, my point. Olympics. Why would they do it again so soon? Yeah. Uh, yeah Leg- Legacy Legacy will win the titles. Yeah, I think Legacy wins the titles here. We've got an IC title versus mask match. Chris Jericho versus Rey Mysterio. Yes. I would have to say Rey Mysterio takes the uh, takes the title here, unless they do uh, some sort of false finish or a DQ finish. Uh, 